So hi and welcome back to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning about object oriented programming uh, using Python. So uh, what object oriented programming is, is it's just where you uh, use objects in uh, programming to um, uh, store things like data and methods uh, as opposed to just writing them out with procedure as you would uh, if you were doing procedural programming. Uh, so uh, procedural programming is what we uh, normally do. Um, well, not, well, not uh, uh, not like everyone does it, but it's what I normally do. Uh, but um, object-oriented programming is, some people think it's a better way to do it, and some people think it's worse. Uh, so um, let's get started. So uh, well, the way object-oriented programming works is uh, the object get can hold data and methods, and the object gets the data and the methods from a class. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a class. So if we create a class and call it my class uh, it doesn't matter what you call it and in here we can create a variable called um, I don't know info uh, we could say info equals this whoops is an example of data within a Python object and um, we could um, just leave it like that and now if we uh, create an object, so uh, to create an object what we do is we just create, give the object a name like we were creating a variable, so I could call it my object. And then I could, well uh, the way we uh, create the object is we say equals and we set it equal to the class. So uh, my class, we could say my object equals my class and then we, could, uh, we have to put empty parameters on the class. Uh, so this is how we create the object. So now if we save that and we hit F5, uh, obviously I won't do anything because we have uh, created the object but we haven't done anything with it. So if we were go to could, sorry, if we were to go down here and we were to type my object dot, oh yeah, I never actually mentioned that. So uh, now we've got our object created to actually sort of reference the data inside the object. We just do my object dot. So we put a dot and then we just put the uh, name of whatever we want to reference so info oops so it's my object dot info and what this will do is it will just print the contents of this variable out oops uh, so if we just hit f5 again oh yeah I actually forgot to actually get the contents of whatever is in the object we uh, just say print my object dot info Oops, and we hit F5, and we get, this is an example of data within a Python object, because what we're doing is we're printing um, whatever is returned by this object, so we are printing myObject.info, so it goes to the myObject object, I know that sort of sounds weird because I called it myObject, but, you know, go with it. So uh, we go to uh, myObject, and then we reference the info um, data, which is just a variable called info. Uh, and we could uh, set this equal to a variable as well. So we could say, um, I don't know, my variable. Okay, we'll just say my var equals my object dot info. And now, if we were to print my var instead, and um, we hit F5, uh, we get the exact same result. Uh, so, what we can also do is we can create methods. So, let's do that now. So a method is just like a function, so we just said def, as if we were creating a function, we said def. We give the method a name, so my method. Um, it takes parameters, but for the moment we're just going to leave, uh, well it has to take one parameter, which means, which is uh, self, and I'll tell you about that later. And what this method does is just going to print, um, I don't know, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So now if we uh, try and reference the method out of the object, so again we just can do print, um, oh actually we don't need to do that because we don't need to print the co the uh, result of the method because we've in the method we've already told it to print 1 plus 1 equals 2. So here we can just say my object dot my method and since it's a method and not, and, uh, not data we have to put uh, parameters around it. And now Oh, we spelled my object wrong. So we spell my object right. We had F5. And, okay. 
Um, we deleted the object, so we just need to define it or uh, create the object. So my object equals uh, my class with uh, empty parameters, and now we try it again. And we get 1 plus 1 equals 2 because what this is doing is it's doing the same sort of thing as it does with the data. It goes my object and then it looks for the, um, it looks inside the uh, class, my class, because my object is equal to my class. So it looks inside this class and then in the class it looks for the method, my method. And I'll show you what happens if we get rid of the uh, self. We get uh, an error because, um, what the uh, self does is it just basically tells the method to sort of be associated with the class, my class. So um, sort of that's how we just get it to work basically. Uh, it gets the, uh, it assigns sort of the method to the class which is assigned to the object. So um, without the uh, self, this isn't going to work. Uh, it's sort of, sort, of, or it's sort of like saying inherits, so it's kind of like this method inherits this class. So that, that way, um, it sort of gets a, it's uh, associated with the class and because we used self the method becomes a child of the class and uh, um, that means we can use the uh, my method uh, in the object because the object is um, linked sort of to the class so um, that's it for this video don't forget to like favorite comment and subscribe and uh, I know I started making a website a long time ago and you haven't actually heard anything more of it but uh, that will be coming really soon because I recently just um, set up a Linux server and um, I'm going to be using that to host my website and I'll have it all finished really soon. So uh, you should see that pretty soon. Uh, just ignore the one at the moment, creativecode.ca or whatever it is, .cz, .cz or whatever. Um, because I'm going to have a, it's going to be a proper website with a proper domain on a proper server. And uh, it should all run really fast and it should just work really well. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe and comment as I said. And I'll see you next time.